Hey, this is Nancy Atlas with another edition of East End Legends. Today we're talking with Captain Amanda Switzer. Right. And it's just like, it's amazing. I mean, do you have like a, a mystery fish that's out there? Like I have a 13 pound fluke named Elizabeth that I've been trying to catch for about really? 25 years. Yeah. There's Scarletta over at west of here. Yeah. She's got like this big old bass. She's got these scars on her back and stuff like and that. And you want her. She's massive. She's got her own little like harem. I'm not I mean, Yeah, she's got all these little fish that come and like test out the bait for her and stuff so she never gets caught. So you got, um, now did you name her or is she like me a? And a me and a, a friend of mine did. We're like, Scarletta. Oh, there's Scarletta. Scarletta and Elizabeth, yeah. man. I don't yeah. know. I don't know these you bitches. Know, I, <laughs> we gotta catch these bitches. <laughs> wow. I just like watching you do it. So it's so come, exciting. We're gonna do this. We're gonna okay. get it right. Okay, 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 okay. Gonna, okay, just hold this tight. Okay. And let me do this work. Okay. Here, ready? Wow. You feel that? How yeah, oh, it just got my face. So glad you took the lore off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like yeah, that. okay, I feel the jerk. You feel that. Slow it down, because all that line, you gotta wait for that line to hit back. Did you feel that? Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Watch this. Woo! Wait, no, wait. <laughs> Come on, baby! <laughs> all right. Wow! Okay, and use one hand. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> or two. I want this. I want this back. If you were like coming out here for the summer and you just bought a boat, for the first time, and uh, you were going out on the water. What are some of the things you don't want to do when you see people fishing? Uh, well, when you see somebody pulling a boat like I was just doing before, you just pulling, 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 like, like yeah. You, you had the okay. motor off, and um, here, I'm gonna put that in that hole over there. You, you basically, you know, you want to kind of stay away from them because what they're doing is they're stalking fish, and you don't want to create noise, you don't want to scare them, and if you're, you know. If if you're on a jet ski, you know, you just gotta be mindful. So Amanda, when I'm like out on the water, I like peanut butter and jelly. Mm. That's good. What is up with that? Why is it peanut oh, no, butter and good. jelly? That's good, good. That's good. But did you know that they, you cannot bring bananas? Yeah, bananas. Bananas. Bananas and like bananas it, bad. Bananas are bad luck. No, seriously, like it's not yeah. just a woman thing on this one. Banana. It's <laughs> bananas are a legend. I found this out when I had a boat that was out and I was near all the fishermen. And it's, be do you know why? Yeah, I do know why. Why, why? Are you testing me? Yeah, <laughs> I am. Because in Central America, they used to ship the, the bananas from Panama and Costa Rica and those, you know, kind of the Banana Republic. And when the ships went down, there'd be bananas floating all over the water. So the fishermen would get so sick of seeing bananas that it was bad luck to have a banana on the boat. Meaning it would be a shipwreck. You know what I heard? What did you hear? I heard that when they shipped them up from the Bahamas, that one particular batch of bananas had a nest of black widow spiders yeah. and the whole ship died. Legends. It's legends. legends. In Western Europe, it was a pig. You couldn't bring pigs on board. Why, because they fell off the boat and... I have no yeah. idea, but hey, I don't think we have to worry about that. Although I'm sure you do get some pigs every once in a <laughs> while. No. They end up in the water too. With they the end up in the water too. Yeah. <laughs> Bitches in a boat. <laughs> <laughs> Bottom cowboy! Wow, that's good. That's good. Oh, yeah! Yeah! Amanda, is it 20 bucks extra if you do that for them? <laughs> <laughs> like, what is it? <laughs> I'll just... <laughs> That's how I insure my tips. <laughs> yeah. Right, Amanda Amanda insures her boobs on fishing. J Lo's no, got to insure my tips. Oh tips. <laughs> Sorry. What was I thinking? Hey Amanda, you think we could go fishing next week? Of course. Alright, thanks, babe. So, I, I wanna catch one. We're gonna go for lobsters in the flats. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Amanda's passion for fishing is recently extended into artwork. After showing us the ropes on the water, she gave us a quick glimpse of her creations on land. Captain Amanda, what do we have here? Well, I've started making kind of mosaic mirror art and uh, I started about a year ago and I started kind of doing orthogonal type pieces and then it evolved to very fish kind of fish minded pieces and basically I was inspired by a series on BBC called The Blue Planet 
that shows these really amazing bait balls, or these herring, these herring balls that are just kind of like a disco ball, and these tuna come and pick off you know, little pieces and start kind of swirling it. And that's what happened with that piece, sort of doing lots of very curvilinear pieces and having these football-shaped um, objects kind of cutting through and kind of you know, creating different patterns. And it looks a little Van Gogh-ish and stuff, but that's kind of the inspiration. And then it kind of reminds me of like the Star Room on Saturday Night a little bit. Too. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a little, like, it's you know, a little it's disco got that energy of like yeah. the, you know, it's got the the. Um, so those are tuna, and these are this is trout. This is trout. This is actually it started to be. I originally was going to do a pavement type of kind of breaking pavement on the on the road, and right. then it turned into this kind of flowing thing, and then a. A f artist friend of mine who's a fisherman, this guy Tim Borsky, came and said, you know, it's a really good idea. We should maybe put some trout in here. So it's really we beautiful. sketched it out and yeah, it really came out it came out great. It's really amazing. So these are trout in a stream and that's tuna going. Tuna gone wild. Tuna gone <laughs> <laughs> And where are you showing these? I'm gonna show them there's an exhibit at Ashwag Hall on the nineteenth of June called Sixteen Women. And I was lucky enough to be invited to show some work. So Fantastic, and Ashwag Hall is down on Springs Fireplace Road for anybody that um, is interested in going. And if by any chance this is airing past June 16th, they could probably find out some information or get in contact with you through your website, right? Which yes. is amandaswitzer.com? Yes, it is. So it's not Captain Amanda Switzer. Not yet. All right. <laughs> There's also one other place. There's a new place opening. I like up. Captain Amanda <laughs> Captain A. Captain Amanda, <laughs> and you can like have the the fishing pole, you know, and like this red like Wonder Woman like dun, 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 like. That's you know. note to self. Get like or suit. <laughs> Thanks for showing us everything. Sure, sure. Remember, it's AmandaSwitzer.com, and once again, East End legend in the making, baby. Watch out. <laughs>